Hello everybody, this is Nicole Zick and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing this abstract stylized floral done in mixed media. First I did loose colorations, wet on wet in the flower heads. And then I went back in with a permanent marker, did black line details, and then added some little dabs of permanent marker in silver and white bleed proof white dots and accents. So this is a nice mixed media artwork. It's easy to follow along with. So let's get started. We'll prop this up with my Relax and my Llama Rock today. And I already drew out where I want to place my circle heads for my flowers. And this is going to be a wet on wet technique. So first I'm going to start with the center flower and wet it with my clean water the whole circle to a nice damp consistency and then we're going to add droplets of color and you'll see how the magic starts. I'm going to use this dark purple shade. It's more on the redder side and I'm going to start bleeding it around the bottom of the circle. You can add some more for some darks. And then I'm going to go in with a blush pink. More like a pale peach. We'll call it. And I'm using that at the top part. And letting the two colors mix. Together. And bleed. Next we'll start with the left flower on the top. Once again, wet on wet, fill the circle with wet, clean water. Adjust the circle here. And then dab in some of the darker purple. We'll call it red violet. And then I'm going to add some of the peach color and let it mix in. You can remove some if you feel that there's too much blending. Maybe down here, remove. Just hold your brush and lift and dab. Okay, we're moving right along. We'll go to the outer left circle. Wet the inside of the circle. Go back into our red violet. This will do little dabs all over. And I'm going to start introducing a carnation pink, which is a middle value pink I sometimes use in some of my artwork. We'll dab that around the circle. And then we'll add some of the light peach, giving it a highlight. And you can mix a little more of the darker shade. Remove some paint if it's a little heavy and add the dark on the bottom perimeter of the circle and just glide your paint around the circle filling up the pencil line. Now we'll move down to the bottom and this will be a lighter flower so we'll start with the carnation pink here and there. And if it's a little too much paint, just blot it off with your brush. And then I'm going to add some of the peach. And this flower is primarily going to be a lighter flower than the others. So the first project and part of this artwork, the first step is to do the flower heads as I'm doing now. And then we go back after it's dry and add the line work. So I'm adding some carnation pink. Moving around, just making sure my circle doesn't bleed too much down below. So this circle will just fill around. Maybe a little more of the dark. Now 
Now we have this large circle on the right. Fill the pencil line with water. And this flower I want primarily, mostly the red violet. So I'm going to fill that in. And for the top I'll add a little of the pink. Blend it in around your circle, blend your purple, red violet a little more on the bottom, I see my flower on the bottom here, it's taking over. Just use a clean brush and remove the paint that went outside your circle. Now we have two flowers left. We'll paint both of them. Just making sure that the water is damp. Not too much water. Let's start off with this flower here on the left with the peach. Concentrating on the top, and then I'm going in with the pink on the bottom, blending the two in the circle. Adding a little bit of the dark red, red violet. And the last circle will be red violet. Just blending it together, it'll just be red violet alone. And there you have that. And all your flower heads are colored. Next, I'm going to use some olive green and do some sprigs of leaves and grass coming from below the flowers so i have an evergreen and i have an olive green we'll mix the two and have two different colors of green coming up from the bottom just do some loose lines coming from the bottom of the page up You could do them different heights, different spacing. And now the yellow green. And it just gives a whimsical look of the grass growing below the flower heads. And it's all stylized, so it's not a perfect line. It should have waviness and also thin and thick. Maybe a little bit more heavier green lines of grass. Yeah, the green, heavier green looks nicer. And then we have our finished artwork until we are able to have it dry enough to do the black line work and the white leaf proof white and permanent marker of silver. So I'll be right back as soon as this dries and we'll continue. Okay, now that our artwork is dry, we can add the fine details of the permanent ultra fine marker to each flower first we'll start with the center flower and we'll give it a base of a 
several little flower sprigs and a stem going down. And then we'll start and draw spiny lines inside the flower. They look like little petals, but they're spiny and sharp inside the flower. And as we go up, we'll make the spaces larger in the flower. And then we'll do some leaves in an oblong shape. We can color in with the marker every once in a while, another leaf shape. And our first leaf is, flower is done. Next, we'll go over to the left and make the line going down for the stem through the flower and continuing. And again, starting with the little bud at the bottom. And this flower is going to have lines going up and radiating from the base at different heights. And we'll draw little circles on the top of each line and you can add some more at shorter heights to fill in the spaces and add it full. Next, we'll go over to the left, go down a straight line, add the base of the flower. And this will only have one row of spiny flower details because we'll add some circles at the top in a random pattern going down into the flower and we'll be filling these with silver permanent marker and bleed proof white so just add some circles on this flower and then we'll add some leaves coloring in every other one going into the grass you could color some leaves We'll add leaves to this stem. Going down into the grass. We'll actually color this one in too. Here's another flower. Do the stem, the leaves at the top, connecting the flower to the head. And this flower will do rows of spiny petals going around, we'll do two rows, and we'll do a third row going on top of the flower, and that's good enough for that flower. Next, we'll come down to the right, making a long stem from the top, connecting the flower with a few little buds. This time, we're just going to make a small sharp little edge on the bottom and we're just going to draw round circles random that'll be filled in with the permanent marker and bleed proof white and silver marker and we'll draw some leaves coloring in with the black every other leaf going down into the grass Then we have a little tiny leaf uh, flower here. Take the stem down to the connector. And now this will also have the radiating lines at different heights. And then small circles on the top of each line. You can add some at different heights to fill in. And that flower is done and we add the leaves next we have two flowers left we'll do the stem for this larger flower straight down the connecting flowers at the bottom and this will make a large spiny bottom and that will leave separate at the top to do the details and the last flower will have a stem connector and again the spray 
radiating from the center at different heights and lengths. Do some lower flowers and just draw circles on the top of each line that you drew. We'll add some leaves that are missing in our two flowers at the end. Color this one in. The leaves are fillers. They go into the grasses. Okay, next. We'll add some permanent marker in silver. I'm going to color in on the left some of the circles that I drew with the black permanent marker. Just color in some random circles. Same thing with, with this flower here. I'm just coloring in some random areas. And for this flower here, I'm just dropping in some silver dots here and there on the artwork. Next, I have my favorite bleed proof white that we're going to do some nice details with. I have my fine number one inch brush in the clean water and dab it into your white paint. The first air I'm going to use is inside the little dots that I drew with the permanent marker. I'm adding the white delicately in the center of each leftover dot that doesn't have the silver paint. I'm putting white. Now for this flower here, we're going to just do white little polka dots in the background. For the flower down below here, we're going to add some white in the bottom as a highlight below. Same thing for the center flower at the base. I'll add some dry brush. Now we'll go up to the top flower and in the remaining circles that I drew, I'm putting bleed proof white. I'm also going to do some dry brush in the base of this flower with the white. Then coming down below, we'll do some polka dots in the peach color. And actually I like the polka dots and how they're looking. So I'm going to add some polka dots here. Let me clean my brush off a bit. Start with a fresh brush. So I can make my mark very precise. So I'll do some polka dots in this flesh color, peach. Not really flesh, it's peach color. And then we'll do polka dots here in between the silver. They show up nice and rich on this dark red violet flower. And then for the bottom, we'll add some dry brush accents. And I shall come over here and add some dry brush. And lastly, on the final flower, I added some polka dots to this flower. So I think that's pretty much it for this artwork. If you liked it, I hope you can give it a thumbs up. It'll help me out a lot. And if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. And this is our final artwork of a contemporary stylized floral done with mixed media techniques. So I'll see you around and I hope you come again to see my channel. Thank you and bye-bye.